Hi, this is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. I'm Bobby. This is floss tube number 100. It is January 8th, 2023, and this is a channel about cross stitch, my website, apparently diamond painting now, and probably a fur baby, or two, or three. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year. Um, I did a whip parade that was super spontaneous. So if you haven't watched that yet, it's a uh, full, full length movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, spur of the moment. Decided literally the day before and got everything ready and did it. Um... No, I was gonna do it. It was like on a Saturday. I was, was it New Year's? Yeah, it was New Year's Eve. <laughs> and I was gonna film New Year's. <laughs> scared. Scared, you scared the shit out of me. Dude. <laughs> Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Oh, he scared me so bad. Oh, he scared me. Okay. No, you don't need up here right now. Um, <laughs> he uh, attempted the jump, did not complete the jump. Oh, my God. That was... Oh. Okay. Anyways, back. what was I saying? <laughs> Hi, baby. I know. <laughs> um, I <laughs> scared me so bad, I have no idea what I was saying. Oh. If, <laughs> can't wait to rewatch this, see what my face did. Um, Christmas, Christmas, New Year's Eve, I was getting all boxes out and getting everything ready and putting everything in like order of how I was going to uh, show everything and it was in start order-ish. And uh, so I got everything ready and then I was like tired and I was like, yeah, I'll just film this in the morning. And then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? I'm just going to film it now so that I can get all these boxes out of the way and I can put everything up. Quit trying to jump up here. So I can put everything up and everything will be wonderful. And so I think it loaded on New Year's Day though. So have fun. Watch that. Okay. So I'm going to start with, okay, will you not try to kill both of us? Can you be good right there for a second? I'm going to show my haul. 
I got my Be Stitch Me Fabric of the Month, and both of mine, um, I think, yeah, both of these are 18 count. I signed up for Fortnite's new, one of the, the new, I can't remember which collection. It's not the Quaker one. <laughs> it's the other one. Um, and I got that in like 16 count because of some of the Nora Corbett ones that I want to do. So this is Honey by Be Stitch Me and it's 18 count. And I'm doing this one handed right now because I'm giving him all the pets so he'll stay on the ground. And this is 18 count evergreen. Bubby, you don't need up here. I know, I know. It's too much to ask, isn't it? Okay, that is, that is all my cross stitch haul. Um, at the end of this, we will talk a little diamond painting. Now, I'll put it at the end because if you're not into diamond painting and you don't want to see what I have, obviously you don't have to watch. But, um, I do have to say, <laughs> my taste is different from most of the diamond painting people that I watch or have watched. I watch so many um, stash videos, diamond painting stash videos, diamond painting, uh, whips, all the things. And I'm like, occasionally one person would have one that I have, but for the majority, because I do not have any of the, I don't know the names of the designers also, by the way, I'm like, you know, but I don't have any of the Randall, whoever, the little dragons. I don't have any of those. I don't have any of the Hannah, Lynn or something, whatever her name is, the little girls with the big eyes. I do have girls with big eyes, but not her stuff. And I don't have any of the Mandy Mansana. Is that how you say her name? Like she has the stained glass princesses. I do have one of hers on my wish list. It's the Siamese cats, but I don't have any of her stuff. So the ones that it seems like a lot of people have, at least that I've watched, and I'm telling you, I watched at least 30, which don't get me wrong, there's way more than 30 diamond painting. Oh, thank God he left. There's more than 30 diamond painting, um, <laughs> whatever their channels are called, their YouTube channels. Um, uh, yeah. So is it drill tube? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Canvas tube. So anyways, um, so it may be interesting for you, even if you're not into diamond painting. So we'll talk about that at the end, although I just spent like three minutes talking about that. Okay, so let's get into it. First thing is very, very super important. The, well, I think it's important. First ever Pumpkin Creek Primitive chart is available on my website. It is PDF download only. I am working with Leanne at Forbidden Fiber Co. to do thread packs. So um, obviously you can't download those, but um, that way I'll have them already kitted to where you can um, buy the thread pack. Just easy, um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I did my model stitch and it burnt me out on cross stitching. I'm not gonna lie because Two, three, four, five. I mean, it took me five days to stitch this. And of course I wasn't only the last two days I was stitching on it like all day long. At least it felt that way. Um, so this pattern, which I don't have cover art because the cover art is the pattern. Um, is remember the forgotten. And yes, it's not ironed. Sorry. So this is the pattern. And what I'm doing with this pattern because a cause that is dear to me is the DNA Dough Project. And <clears throat> what it does, I'm gonna take this. I don't know why my needle minder's still on there. The DNA Dough Project, and I really wish I didn't have that line in it. Oh, it is what it is. Um, sorry guys. Obviously, you can't do two things at one time. Talk and show things. Okay, anyways. So, the DNA Doe Project, and what they do is for Jane and John Doe's that are in their system, 
they raise funds to do um, DNA testing to then have um, the forensic genetic genealogist or investigative um, genetic genealogist research to be able to find their family members and give them names. And I watch so much true crime and it's so sad when people don't have their names. Um, so I did this pattern in mind of it's on sale, five, on, on sale, it's for sale for $5 and $4 of each of these sales, I will quarterly donate to the DNA Doe Project. Now, I had a specific case that I was wanting to donate to, which was my Murray County Jane Doe, um, the African-American woman I talked about in a video, I think last year, around December, um, who she was found in the 70s. She's actually found on Valentine's Day by hunters, um, probably five miles from here, five or six miles from here. So from where I live, sorry, I'm pointing out my window in the direction, like that means anything to you. Um, <laughs> So, um, I had done this in honor of her and wrote the, um, the whole back of my, um, pattern with her story. And then I wanted to get her Namus name, her Namus name. Um, so if you may want to look her up on Namus, um, they could, and um, she had met her goal, which I donated to it last year. So she has met her goal and um, she currently has already had her DNA extracted and they are, it is in the investigative um, genealogy's hand, genealogist's hands now. So they are doing the research to see if they can find family members. So I will keep you guys updated on her case. Um, I'll just have to like, there's nothing they don't, I don't know. See, I would hope that because I donated specifically to her case, it would have been awesome if they could have been able to email me that they had met the goal. Um, so I'm just going to have to, you know, pop out there and look her up every now and then and see where they're at on it. Um, so these, do, um, I'll say donations, but when I donate, it will be to the general fund unless one of you viewers there's somebody that's there's still funding that's on their site that's like near to you um we could do it that way too um yep so i'm so excited my first pattern that the bottle is fully stitched <laughs> and is on the website and ready to go so i'm officially I want to be designer. <laughs> um, so yeah, so second, well, third pattern that I designed, but um, first one for sale. <laughs> Did I say second or third? Third. First one, second one stitched, third one designed, and I don't want to put this in with that wrinkle in it again because that is a pain okay so yeah so I would love for you guys to show the support and I'm not really good at advertising for myself I have not done the I need to do a social media post about it and I've just not done it I'm just terrible about this side of, of everything. Oh, what can I say? Okay. So let's get into, oh, that was haul. I've got one stitchy kindness that I didn't get to show last time. I don't think it's from Fawn and Sean. How did I show this? It's from them and Wally. How cute are those penguins? I don't know if I should. It's still sitting here. So I think that means I didn't show it. So if I did, that's okay. 
You got to see it twice. It's cute enough. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Here we go. So last time I showed y'all my very piddly, piddly, piddly start on my um, lunar chart and temperature chart, lunar temperature chart for 2023 by Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, because I had to have a start on it before the new year. And so I just did the outline. Well, I am going to, and I thought it was obsidian, the color I picked, but it's caviar. And is it caviar? Yeah. I did her varied range. It's about, some of them are three degrees. Are they all three degrees? What do you mean? Anyways, so yeah. And I've done, I am caught up for the week. <laughs> Here are the first eight days of January. So January starts off with, and then everything else is backstitched in the color of the temperature. As you will see from these first three, first four, it was in the 70s. I believe last year on January, I think it was in the 70s. Like I, I meant to pull my B um, chart and I didn't, but... I think it was. So that's where, so look how the difference. And I think in here we're 70s. I think this is 60s. This is the 50s. And then we're in the 40s. <laughs> but I'm loving it. And I will tell you, I sat down and did all this week, except for I think I had the first two days done last weekend, but sat down and finished the rest in like less than 45 minutes because I was stitching while I was talking to my parents on the phone and I talked to them for 45 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. That's how I keep up with a temperature chart. <laughs> Not have me do thousands of stitches for one day. Okay, sorry, I forgot to put my needle minder back on it. So yes, I'm excited. I love it. It's a nice, quick, easy stitch. It's going to look really, really good when I'm done and I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Another start that I, I got to get a drink of water. My husband has COVID, by the way. Tested positive Friday morning. I'm fine. I've been living my best life because this is going to sound terrible. I mean, I've had to let the dogs out because like literally he has no energy. He, he has it the way I had it in June. It's like, there's no cough. There's no congestion. There's no headache. Um, he doesn't have chills. He did the first day. I had body aches the first day, but after the first day, like all that went away. Um, but he just is extremely exhausted. Like just wants to sleep the whole day. That's what I did. I slept for 23 hours, like for four or five days. Um, so I had to let the dogs out. So other than having to deal with them at every time they needed to go out and run around and do all their stuff. I've been able to just be upstairs and be super selfish of my time and do whatever I wanted to do till like midnight. And then I would come downstairs because I was trying to say, you know, I need the least amount of time in bed with him so I don't get sick. And of course, I sprayed lice all over the bedroom right before I get in bed. And so that'll probably kill us both. Um... <laughs> So I'm living in a Lysol bubble. Um, and then we're not facing each other when we sleep at night. We have a king size bed, so we're on opposite. I'm hey, we're about not quite six feet apart, but we're trying. Um, when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, let me just take a test, just to make sure it was a hard no, and it was fast. It was like, nope, you're good. Super fast, no questions, like didn't have to like be like, hmm, is that or is it not? No, it was a hard a hard no. Um so, like I said, I don't feel bad, but, you know, just want to check. So, yeah, we <laughs> live in my best life. Um, I haven't had to be like, okay, I got to pack everything up so I can go down and have dinner with my husband. I know that sounds terrible. 
but I'm an only child. Sometimes I just want to be by my fucking self. I'm just saying. Sorry. I just sometimes want to be by myself. I do. And just do my own thing and not worry about anybody. So I got to do that this weekend. <laughs> and it was nice. And I'll probably... Uh-oh. What just fell out? Oh, scissors. All right. Can I get them? Yep. Yeah. Um, so I'll probably also get to do that for probably two more days. And then, then it's back to reality. <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> Um, y'all, this was part of a planned new start that I was starting before the new year since I am doing no new starts. Again, it's not no new buys. I can buy whatever the hell I want to. And also diamond painting doesn't count. Um, I got problems. Um, I started this on December 28th, 2022. Uh, this was a planned start. Um, Halloween Sampler by Teresa Kogut. I am doing this one on, I feel like I showed this, but I didn't film on the 28th. Um, Halloween, blah, 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 what am I trying to say? 18 count Ada, volcano stitching, again, doesn't have a name. Um, <coughs> sorry. That's where I got. And the whole reason that pumpkin head is not filled in is because I'm missing a color. I thought I had everything. So, I'm doing that teeny tiny little part right there. And I think it's Colonial Copper. <clears throat> so, I gotta, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna order that from. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, that's Classic Color Works, Colonial Copper. Damn it, I could have ordered that with my Hoffman stuff. I really thought it was gassed. Anyways. Oh well. So this will be on standstill for just a little bit. I mean, I can go around with the border and the cat. <coughs> Why am I choking? Why? Okay. And I blame Sally for why I drink super expensive bougie ass water. Because when we went to South Carolina... Pretty sure she was the one that was like, oh, I've always seen these. Let's try these out. We're on vacation. <laughs> My bank account does not like you. <laughs> They're so good, though. It's just mountain water. But it just gets so cold in this can. There's nothing like just ice, ice cold water. Okay. So the next start was happened on uh, New Year's Eve. I believe. All right. Magnet's messing my stuff up. And it came out of nowhere. Yep. Sorry. 1231. 2022. It is the primitive hair. The six wives of Henry the eighth. Came out of nowhere. <clears throat> if you watch my whip parade, you saw this, but, um, I don't know what happened. Something happened, I think it was the day before, I think on the 30th, conversations were being made between me, Fawn, and Zamia, and I think I was just like, I'm going to start this pattern, because <laughs> I'm obsessed with the tutors. Anyways, I don't know why I haven't started it before. So, because, get this back out again, because Catherine of Aragon is first on here. And being the first, well, I had to make sure I was pointing at the right one. Because <laughs> I can't read backwards. Yes, I can. Um, her being the first one, I wanted to make sure that I used my Catherine of Aragon needle minder. So that's where I'm at. It's just I got to do the, the Tuda. And I have to say... There are a lot of craziness going on with this pattern. And it's probably why I didn't start it way back when I first got it. Because I got it when I first started stitching. Um, this fabric is also 18 count. Uh, uh, Myrtle. Myrtle. 
I feel like that's not how you say it. Fabrics by, <coughs> Fabrics by Stephanie. Um, yeah. So. I feel like there's craziness in this thing. There's lots of French knots. <laughs> feel like there was more craziness than French knots. And I ain't putting French knots on this. So I may be going through beads. Putting some beads on it. I don't know. Because it's like a lot of in their dresses and stuff. I'll have to see. Because I know I've gotten beads with like the stitchy box. You know, every time I open it, it's like, oh, I need more beads. I have all them somewhere. Don't know where, but somewhere. And I have one of those super fancy um, that all the diamond painters talk about. This thing. But I don't know what's in. Oh, sequins. <laughs> I have sequins in mine. And what the hell am I using sequins for? Why do I even have so many sequins? Seriously, why do I have so many damn sequins? Maybe for card making? <laughs> I don't know. I really have to clean out this craft room. <laughs> um, I don't know. Apparently these are really good. I bought it 100 years ago for sequins, obviously. Um, I really need to redo and like put away stuff. Like I have a bunch of yarn stuff and a bunch of... Um, what is that stuff called? Wool. I have a bunch of that kind of stuff that I can need, need to like box it and need to clean out that closet because the closet, I have so much space I could be using that I'm not using. I think I just need to buy a shelving unit and put it in there because my husband doesn't want to put anything on the walls. Um, yeah. I don't know. But anyways, um, I need to redo everything and get out of the way the stuff that I haven't like. My card making stuff can go like needs to be you know, stored outside of my visual area. And that way I've got room for storing some cross-stitching stuff in here versus out in my shop area, which is like heavily have my totes and the totes for that. So <sighs> life's a struggle when you have too much shit. I'm just saying, such a struggle. Okay. Then my last whip and new start was a planned new start. It's my first planned new start of the year. We started this, me, Fawn, and Zamia. We started this uh, yesterday. We did a little Zoom, a little quick Zoom. And we, for Zamia's birthday, and we started, it's a Mirabilia, and it is Cathedral Woods Goddess. And I do have her kitted up with the beads, it's the pattern, the beads, the Karen Water Lilies, and the Krynik. You will still have to buy the GMC. Um, but yeah, so it'll have the treasures in it, the beads, Karen Water Lilies, and Krynik number four braids. There's like one, two, there's three, four, five spools of it. Three colors. One of the spools has, one is three spools. So <clears throat> I do have those kitted up. Um, you'll have to do your DMC and your own fabric. But, so, this is where I got, I basically, which it's so hard to, <laughs> to tell on these pictures are so far away, but I basically did like this, this little horn situation happening right here, which is like barely anything, but it has four different things going on. It has Karen Water Lilies, it has one DMC, and two different Krynics. And it was my first time stitching with Krynik, and it sucks. And that's where it's at. And it's super shiny, and I don't know if you can really tell. It looks really good, like, in person. <laughs> um, except for, like, my stitches. Like, you can't really tell the stitches in the Krynik. It just, to me, looks like, you know, I felt like I was stitching with tinsel. Um... And part of my problem, I was shredding it at first. I was using a 28 because that's what I use. The size 28 needles, petites. So got me a 24 and now we're cooking with gas. 
So that is my birthday thought for Zamia. And I don't know if we have plans on like if we're gonna stitch on this together certain times, if this will ever get finished. Um, it is a lot of Krynik, like, like a lot. Uh, it's all up in her dress, all up in her antlers. Like, I feel like it's a lot, <laughs> which none of us realized. And I don't know how, we must just not have paid that close of attention at keepsakes when we saw it hanging on the wall. Um, and was just like, ooh, that's pretty. Um, yeah, that's why it's pretty. And um, so when I opened the pattern the other day to grab the things and to get um, everything organized, I forgot to put my needle minder back on it. I was like, asked the girls, I said, uh, have y'all opened this? bitch up and like read her yet and they're like no and I'm like <laughs> well we gonna be professionals when it comes to Krynik and I know you can use diamonds and I could use treasure break whatever I'm I'm just I'm gonna do it and just bitch about it the whole time just because I can't <laughs> it's fine all right so that is it now I already have a idea in mind for my next pattern that I'm going to design. I don't know how I'm going to design it. It's just, it's a quote. It's a, my quote. I have a couple like that. But anyways, um, I don't know when that'll get done or whatever. But so more things coming from C Pumpkin Creek Primitives. And eventually one day, maybe I'll finish my own model on that ginormous pattern that I designed that I thought was small. Um, my haunted house. So yeah. Um, but there was a point to me saying that. I don't know what it was. Oh, models, model stitching. So for my no new starts, they don't count as a finish and they don't count as a new start. So yes, I finished, um, in January, my model stitching, but it did not earn me, um, a new start. So death sucks, but it's fine. It's okay. Um, and then last time when I was making a big deal about, Oh, I cheated because I'm going <laughs> to, I'm not going to totally finish this motif on January Quaker. So then I will wait and finish it in January so I can start. That's the point of the January Quaker. It didn't matter when I finish it. It's to finish that is to start February Quaker. Boy, I really thought I was on to something. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, plans. I ain't got none. I mean, no, I ain't got none. Um, that's not true. I do have one and I left it in there. So I think I pulled, if you watch my whip parade, what I did as I was going through the many, 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 many things, um, there were a few that I decided to trash. Um, and then I still want to like do the patterns one day, but they were done on fabric I couldn't stand. Like, no, like, it was bad. Um, yeah. So, I separated out the ones that I really, really wanted to focus on. That, like, I when I was stitching on, since I touched all the whips last year, there were a few that when I was stitching on them, like, I just didn't want to put them down. So, those handfuls I put in a tote, like, right beside where I stitch. And then I have another tote that is things that are basically 50% or better done. So if something new comes out and I want to do start, I got to go grab from that bag and I got to finish something. So I was trying to make it easy to know, okay, these are easy ish finishes. So the snail is probably the closest thing to being done. It was a primitive hair one. Cause I really just had to do back stitching and do the needle. And I think the needle is crying and that was scaring me. And now I've, I've already got, I know how to do it now, so I'm good. Um, so I need to finish him because for 100% me and Fawn, I don't think Zomia is going to jump on this one, but nor Corbett Sea Witch. Um, I'll show it next time. I meant to grab it, but um, <clears throat> yeah, she's fabulous. And I have her. Let me make sure I have her in my shop. I don't think I'm sold out. Um, I will continue... 
getting those kits in that they're selling um, because they're super fun. Uh, all those Nora Corbett's. And I really, really want to do, and I know it's like three ten, Demon 310 Hell, but, oh, I only have one available. Y'all go fight for it. It's not on sale though because it's a kit, but speaking of, I still have my 25% off pattern sale going on on my Etsy and on the website. Um, sea Witch. Y'all, I cannot. She's so gorgeous. And Fawn is thinking about doing her own purple. And I actually am too. And I think I may do her own Evil Queen by Be Stitch Me. Um, we shall see. If not, I probably will do her on like a turquoise. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I like the purple. <coughs> Excuse me. I like the purple idea. Um, yeah, I have one left. <laughs> but they will be. That will be getting um restocked at some point so we don't have a plan on when we're starting it number one I gotta get <laughs> I gotta get my snail finished but we're gonna stitch together um I don't think Zami is crazy about the bewitching pixies so don't think she's gonna partake in that and she has no idea I mean Fawn of course had no idea that she was gonna participate in the birthday start <laughs> so we were like here you go so there's that. Um, yeah, so it's really just focusing on trying to grab, focus on the things that I couldn't put down and then occasionally grab a, um, one of my projects is close to being 50% done. Or if something else sparks something or somebody else is stitching on something, you know, whatever. Um, so really it's like no plans. So I'm a little nervous about that because that either means I'm going to be really successful or I'm not. <laughs> Cause sometimes no plans are great cause you just do what you want to. And then whatever, you don't have to worry about, Oh, this, I'm loving this. I'm going to stitch on it and until it's done or until I want to put it down. Whereas last, all of last year I was like stitching on it and would love it. Be like, Oh, nope. I gotta set you aside cause I got to put a hundred stitches on this one. So I don't know. <laughs> It'll be interesting to say the least. Um, so let me, before I get into the diamond painting, uh, watching. I only watched the first episode of the new season of Jenny and Georgia. I highly recommend it. It's a really good show. Um, I only, <laughs> only started probably the first 15 minutes of the second knives out the glass onion i'm i think i'm only 15 minutes into it um and i'm only half i'm gonna have a lot of half shows i'm only halfway through who killed santa but if you're not watching that or did not watch that on netflix you have to it i laughed so so hard so funny and it's jason bateman so just watch it um it's so funny <laughs> Um, still watching Kindred on Hulu. I think I'm only two episodes in though. Um, on Discovery Plus, I've been watching, I watched all three seasons of The Case That Haunt, Haunted Me and it's really good. Um, I'm not quite through with all the seasons of Murder Chose Me. It's also really, really good. Um, the guy is a detective, Detective Dimery, and he is in, um, Shreveport, Louisiana. Um not fully through unusual suspects which is really good because uh that show basically unusual suspects it's all about the person that committed the crime is like the last person you would thought of so it's really good and then today i've been binging a time to kill these are all on discovery plus these last murder true crime ones and it's really good um <clears throat> reading slash listening to um i know this podcast has been around forever but i've just never listened to it a true crime garage and I listened to an episode and I thought it was pretty good. So um, then another podcast that I love is called Helen Gone. And uh, she's doing updates on her season one because they actually made an arrest in the case that she did all of season one about, which was Rebecca Gould uh, in Arkansas. And they've actually made an arrest and the guy has done a trial and everything. So it's, um, it's, it's good listening to the updates. And then I had a book on my list forever ago when Julie from um, 
Kansas City Girl in Colorado World, which now I guess she's just in all the worlds, right? She's just all doing her traveling thing. Um, she always talked about the A Court of Thorns and Roses. And um, I don't know, it's, it's Sarah, but I don't know how to say, I don't know how to say her last name. Is it Moss or Moss? I don't know. Anyways, um, <clears throat> well, Fawn was talking about it because she's reading a different series by her. And then she recommended, and so I downloaded it. And I've listened to like the first 15 minutes. I was listening to it on my way home Friday um yeah so <laughs> I will be um and then she's reading a book now Fawn's reading a book now called Hooked and it sounds like really really good and so I think I'm gonna uh, finish this series and then possibly go to Hooked or at least get it um I go back and forth between podcast and books um when I'm driving to work so sometimes I'm just not in the mood to really focus on a story that I need to listen to for 23 hours. And so I don't want to miss something um, versus just listening to an hour case. So, okay. Now we are on the diamond painting section of the video. Um, if you are leaving me, I'm very sad. I'm hurt. I will haunt you when I die. I'm just kidding. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I get it. It's not for everybody. It's so addictive. Um, I've learned a lot this past week. And it's all Zomia's fault. I'm just blaming her. Um, she likes to take credit. But I really think it's a fault. Not a credit. <laughs> so. Um, and all I can say. With my my situation. I'm so glad I'm not into coke. I think God. I have an addictive personality. I mean. It's not good. And, I, and then I have the ADD hyper focus on top of it. So it's like, ugh. okay. So one of the things that was on my wish list from a while ago on Amazon and Zami got it for me for Christmas. And it was when I had first learned about diamond painting, I had put this on my wish list and I don't still don't know tons about it. I'm still learning, but, um, it came in and it's a partial. So it was small and I was like, you know what? I should just do this. I forgot how much I love diamond painting. Like, completely forgot. So, I finished, and I even have an album, guys. <laughs> so, I finished this, and she's all sparkly, sparkly. So, I finished that, and then I was like, oh, wait, I have this other kit that I partially started, like a small corner of it, and then I was like, oh, I'll do it next. Well, this is a good lesson, children, on why you don't buy things that are $10 on AliExpress. And um, that is so pixelated and it looks terrible. Um, it's supposed to be Cinderella's castle reflecting into the water. Um, it's terrible. It's, it's, so, it's terrible. Um, yeah, it's terrible. So those are my two completed. <laughs> I did complete one a long, long time ago. Um, I don't even know if I would even be able to find a photo of it. It was a gift and I have to admit, like, I really should find it again and do it again because it was so stinking cute. Um, and the person I did it for, like, absolutely loved it. I have so many pictures. Who knows? Um, and so what was funny is I had said <clears throat> in a group talking to Memphis Sarah, um, cause I didn't realize she diamond paints too. And she's got a diamond paint and she's like, I need to get back to it. And she had said that, um, that's how she learned about cross stitching when she was diamond painting and watching YouTube. And then she saw where, um, somebody was cross stitching and she's like, what, what is this? And <clears throat> so that's how she got started. And I was like, oh yeah, no, I was cross stitching way before I was diamond painting. Not true. Sarah, I lied to you because um, I got to thinking about it and I was like, no, when I was diamond painting a cock for my mother, it's a, it's a funny story. <laughs> Makes my mom so mad. <laughs> um, so when I was doing that, I, do I not have a good picture of it? I was at the old house. Our house wasn't finished yet. Okay, so this is what I did as a gift for a friend. It's so cute. <laughs> and she loves unicorns. 
she was obsessed I had it framed um so what I did for my mom and it doesn't look like I have a finished photo of this um because I've also cross-stitched her a cock and I put on there the French lecoq because I'm an asshole and my mother is like Miss Prim and Proper all the things and so it annoys her a lot that I keep pointing out her cocks in her house <laughs> and she's like stop it's a rooster I'm like don't don't be embarrassed about your cock mom it's gorgeous um this one's it's not finished yet but that was my mom's cock <laughs> it's finished now and she has it um I do not believe she has framed it and I do not believe it is up in her house um not that she doesn't like it but it's just because you know she just has one cock and then she'd have to have two if this is up on the wall um that was a lot of work that was a lot of cock okay so <clears throat> so I have finished two diamond paintings now these two so I have finished four diamond paintings in my diamond painting career um <laughs> so I will oh you know where to start let me start with some of these just showing a few little kits that I have I just guys I didn't know in the beginning I honestly didn't know that you don't buy these. <laughs> I, I just didn't know. So even though that castle was starting to look rough at the go, I just I had I'm I'm I had to finish it. So I just like buckled down and finished it, which aggravates me because I'm like, do you know how much I could have done one of the better kits I have? But that's fine. So this is also probably going to look absolutely terrible. Um, and the fact that it's like. I don't whatever. Um, it's the Beauty and the Beast rose. It's probably going to be terrible. <coughs> um, there's the drills. Um. It's, I mean, the canvas feels thick. It's fine, that part of it. Those symbols are very hard to read, but I have a light board. I've had a light board, like a big ass light board. I've had one um, from, I bought it when I bought two, guys, I'm sorry. This story is getting very intertwined and I apologize. Um, Welcome to my storytelling. <coughs> I don't know why I've got this cough. I do not have the vid. I refuse. I do not accept it. Um, I told Chad, I said, you did not get it when I had it. So you need to do me the same solid and not give it to me. So, oh my God, even this plastic is ridiculous. Okay. Um, anywho. So... I started watching, this has been like two years ago. I started watching Stitcherista and she was really doing diamond painting. And so she was doing Alice, which I do own. It's not here yet. I just bought it. Um, cause they were out of stock forever, but she was doing the Alice in Wonderland and it's Alice and it's so bright. It's just bold and beautiful. And I had bought two, uh, diamond art club two years ago because of her. And bought a light board. Have I even touched the light board? No. Did I even pull the plastic off the Diamond Art Club? No. They sat on the floor over there. Um, so, when I did the piece that Zamia bought me, I was like obsessed. And then I just totally did <laughs> the castle as bad as it is. And then I was like, yes, I had two Diamond Art Club, but does that slow me down? No. I'm going to go see what Dar Diamond Art Club has. And watched a bunch of the newer videos oh, that Stitch Teresa had. Stitch Ter... What, why I can't talk. Um, the ones that she had. And she was talking about another company besides Dar Diamond Art Club. It was like Treasure. I don't know. So I bought a couple from them. I think the day before I bought anything from Diamond Art Club and Diamond Art Club I've had 
two orders from them already come in and that one's still being processed. And I think probably Monday or Tuesday I'll have the other two orders <laughs> from Diamond Art Club. So I'm now a Diamond member in one week. <laughs> Christmas money, man. And you know what? It's Christmas money. I bought things I like. It's fine. Um, I just think it's super funny. So I have another Chinese kit. Or, I don't, you know, that's not right. I shouldn't say, I don't know if that's Chinese, right? I don't know. I'm saying Chinese. That's not nice. Could be anywhere. This one, he may look okay. You can at least tell what it is from the picture before you put the diamonds on it. And then there's the drills. Um, he, he may end up being not, not too shabby. Um, we shall see. But, and he's, he's a partial. So like, yeah, so the, the, the clock and the gears are not, they don't have, <clears throat> so I still have these. Like I said, they're not the best, but I have since doing those little bitty ones on the giant light board that I was super excited that I had um because now it's finally getting used um I was like gosh this thing is so huge and takes up so much room on the desk for these little ones so then I bought a smaller light pad that fits these type perfectly so um yeah so now I have two light boards and this one looks like I got it from Somewhere a little less AliExpress. It says pretty neat. I don't know. I mean, it came with better tools. And it, the canvas is a little different. It's a little bit more the fuzz. But... I have a needle minder that matches that. So we'll see. She may be good, maybe not. Oh, she's square. Um, it's fine. I'm not a huge fan of square drills, which I've just started a square drill for the first time. And I noticed that half of what I have, my new order stuff, are square. So I'll just have to get used to squares. Um, I just, it's because I, you know, I'm all free spirit and throw down those rounds wherever, straighten them up a little bit. Uh, you gotta be a little bit, a little bit more on target <laughs> the square. Um, not all willy nilly. Okay. This is another one that I think came from like Ali Express. I have no idea what it is. I still don't know what it is. Oh, it's like a tree with a skull. Yeah, this is probably not going to turn out great. I don't know. But I'm still going to do it because I paid that $10. Now, I know I feel different about cross <laughs> Cross stitch, I just collect, right? Um, uh -oh. So this way, I'm planning on having like one big one going and one small one going at a time. Um, I feel like that's an easy way to do it. Okay, so as for oh God, Diamond Art Club, I got... A Suicide Squad set of it is Harley and Joker and I started Harley Joker's not open yet but I'll do him maybe next we'll see but I did start Harley and 
She has square drills. And this is also a partial. So that's where I got on hers. And it is like, she is sparkly. But the whole difference, this canvas, like you can just, I mean, Diamond Art Club, you can just immediately tell the difference in, in quality. Um, I know you can't see all of her and I've got, but I showed you a picture. It's exactly what's on the front of the box. So, I'm afraid, skeeter hair. <sighs> so, I want to get these in a situation where I can leave them on the board. I just, I don't have, like, I'm having to, like, unplug the board, move the board. Like, I'm all the things. I, I just don't have a very good workspace situation, which is why I want to need to clean out this room. <clears throat> okay. So, the next one that I started is this big. And I have a little notebook, which also has my finish cards in it, for my cross stitch trackers. But this, this is what I started. This is the only Dottie Gleason design I have. And yeah, she's a girl with big eyes, but she's not the Hannah lady. But how stinking cute, right? And it's round and I was going to town on it and I'm obsessed and in love. So I'm going to have to like, I'm going to have to set a time like when I like maybe not do cross stitching at night and do diamond painting at night and during the week and then do cross stitching like on the weekends. Otherwise I'll never get cross stitching done again. But that is where I'm at. I mean, how beautiful is that? It is so amazing. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. So I thought if I can get this set up right on a table to where it can stay on the table. I really need my drafting table. Um, I don't know why in the world I'm forgetting Stitch Teresa's Stitch Teresa's name because I know it. Just blanking. Um, I need a drafting table like she has. I just don't have room for a drafting table because um, I would like for it to be set up all the time and then I could move and have because I've got a long arm clamp thing to uh, clamp a camera and I would kind of maybe like to do what she does because I think I could actually like talk while I do this, I don't know about live, but if I had people send in questions and um, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> so, all right. Now, so the next thing I'm going to do is show you the other Diamond Art Clubs that I have. This one is square, which I did not realize, but that is square. And that is just Into Wonderland. And it's funny because I went through their website and I just like went and said all everything, all patterns. And by the time I was done, I probably had maybe 15 or 16, maybe a little bit more um, <clears throat> patterns in my, in my wish list. And it was like four designers. <laughs> so I have found which designers I like, which this one, um, it doesn't say who the designer is on here, does it? Nope, it does not. Dang it, because it's one of the old cards. Um, oh, no. It may be by JoJo Design or something. Um, but Rococo Dream, and this is by, it's Ines Ines Guerrero. Um, I absolutely love, I have so many of hers in my, um, but they're all get notified. Um, I love it. So I have this one, which it's on here. You can't really tell, but it's pinks and grays. 
and it's fabulous. And I also have her Not Your Alice. It's also by her, which is fabulous. And I have more, of her. they're just not here yet. I have another one of hers. And then this one's Dakota Datweiler, Dweiler. Um, this one's huge and it's called Kraken and I'm going to do that for my bathroom. And there's a couple more of theirs that I want also. And then the other one I got is Christopher Lovell and I apparently am obsessed with his stuff too because half of what I want is his. Um, and this is Succubus. It is so cool. So amazing. Um, and then I got a mystery kit from him and I think that would be something fun to film. Um, so I'm not sure if it's covered up. Like you don't, like, I don't know how the mystery kits work at Diamond Art Club. So I don't, it would be awesome if it's covered up with like, um, very non-transparent release paper so that you can't see what it is until you start doing it. But I don't know if that's how it is. That would be amazing. But what they do tell you is they will tell you on the mystery kit they have, um, they will tell you the category and then you do get to see the artist. So since the, since I basically have four or five artists that I'm obviously obsessed with, um, it'll be really easy for me to do mystery kits because, um, pretty much if they have a mystery kit of that artist, I'm probably going to like it. I'm not buying anybody else's. I'm not taking a chance. Sorry. I mean, they're not cheap. So no. Um, but so I got a mystery kit from Christopher Lovell and it's, it's category is dark fantasy. So I think it'll be amazing. So I'm excited. I'm excited. So I guess diamond painting. Um, and I'm just obsessed and that is like all I've been doing. And I think it's because like you can see, like it's a fast gratification like no offense, but sometimes cross stitching we, because it takes so long. It's like, you feel like, Oh my gosh, I've put in three hours and it's like one little line. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so this is just, I don't know, seriously, another effing hobby. I mean, I only have 3000. So yeah, I've just got to find a way to, to find the balance between the diamond painting and cross stitching. Um, because I did zero cross stitching except for my temperature chart this whole weekend zero um because i diamond painted my ass off so and loved every bit of it and did not miss the cross stitching but i also think i'm burnt out from the cross stitching from busting my butt on that model so i don't know we'll see all right i gotta go pack orders <laughs> and this was an hour but yeah let me i don't know let me know what you think about diamond painting i'm not gonna if i do any videos on diamond painting whether they're the diamond chat ones or live whatever they will be a separate video um, and they'll be on a separate playlist than my floss tube. Like this time they're, they're smushed together, but um, I will probably definitely a hundred percent, probably definitely maybe <laughs> um, my diamond videos will be separated from my floss tube. I won't, um, I won't show them on my floss tube because um, that way if you're, I, it's mainly because I think my floss tube people would totally just, watch the diamond painting stuff, but I may be able to, there may be diamond painting people out there that want to watch that do not want to watch cross stitch. I don't know why, but you know, to each their own, but all right. I've, I've used all the words. I've said all the things. <laughs> Alrighty. I hope you guys have a wonderful two weeks. I will see you back toward the end of January. Um, I don't think I have anything major coming up. Anything big yet? Nope. 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 So, all right, until then, bye.